right, welcome to another ranking of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. We are going to be ranking the final girls of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre franchise. Um, and as you can see, the tiers are Chainsaw Gold, pretty damn awesome, good, decent, meh, not into it, garbage. With garbage obviously being the worst and Chainsaw Gold being the best. We're going to run through these movie by movie from the first through the ninth film and see where these final girls end up. So with that said, let's begin. Sally Hardesty. Um, I think I'm going to put her because she is the first final girl. I'll give her that. But as a character, we don't really get to know her. She's not really fleshed out, which is fine for that kind of film. It wasn't important to the story. And it made it seem all the more real because she wasn't a character. She seemed more like a real person, which is fine. But her, um, her incessant screaming in the film does get on the nerves a little bit. The first movie is my favorite movie in the series. The scariest, best leather face, best atmosphere, everything. But naturally, there's some, there's, there are some final girls whose screams get on your nerves, and Sally Hardesty's screams do get on my nerves. Um, with that said, I'm going to put her in the good spectrum. So yeah. Next up, we have Stretch, played brilliantly by Caroline Williams from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre 2. Um, I'll be honest, she's probably my favorite final girl of the series. Uh, her character is fantastic. She's she's well rounded out. We really get to know the character. We know her motives. We know what she's doing, what she wants, what she doesn't want. Uh, and this Caroline Williams' performance is, is epic, to say the least. She's funny. She's smart. She's serious. She's... um. She's really everything you want out of a final girl. So, with that said, Caroline Williams is going into the Chainsaw Gold. Uh, where else would she end up? Come on. Okay, next up, we have Kate Hodge from Leatherface, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. I do really like Kate Hodge. I liked Michelle. She played Michelle in Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3. I thought she was good. She was feisty. Um, her screams, like Sally's, really did get on my nerves by the end of the film not her fault not the actress's fault just this the way the character and her screams were in the film but I mean she was cool uh, she was sort of she seemed sort of like a tomboyish character then but then she really became this uh, helpless female character uh, for the for most of the film you know through the torture scenes and all that stuff until the very the third act when she broke out and be, t suddenly turned into a badass and, and and kicked some necessary ass by the end but um, eh uh, what can you do with that said, I think I'm going to put her in good with Sally Hardesty. So, yeah, not bad. Not fantastic, but not bad. Not bad at all. Um, next up, we have Jenny, played by Renee Zellweger from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, The Next Generation, the fourth film. Uh, I'm not a fan of that movie. I'm not a fan of the teenage teenage characters in it. They all annoy the crap out of me. Leatherface annoys me. Matthew McConaughey annoys me. And unfortunately, Re Renee Zellweger annoys me. I don't know why. She's a good actress. Her her final girl performance is fine for the movie, I guess. It's just something about... It, it's, I'm just annoyed by it. But um, with that said, it's not trash. It's it's it's. I'm not into the film. Um, and I, it's not meh either. I mean, she's a decent final girl considering like the film if I was talking about the films I would totally be not into it but as fine but I mean I guess she's decent she does the job I'm just eh, you know it's if there was a take it or leave it uh, thing here I guess you can call that's what decent is take it or leave it but decent uh, yeah she'll she'll go there she'll belong there you can probably get an idea of where this charts going um, I don't really think any of these girls are meh not into it or garbage as far as final girls go. So I guess that's good. But let's see where uh, where else we end up. So next up we have Aaron, played by Jessica Biel from the 2003 remake. Uh, fantastic final girl, smart, witty, knows what she wants, knows what she has to do, uh, cares about her friends, tactful, resourceful, and uh, she 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 really does kick some ass. She never really goes through the damsel in distress until about the second or third act, and it's only briefly. And then she goes back to kicking some more ass. I mean, really, really gave Leatherface a run for his money in that movie, and Leatherface is fucking scary in that movie. So I really think um, 
Erin belongs, if I'm being honest, I really think she belongs in the Pretty Damn, or the uh, Chainsaw Gold, along with Stretch. Um, yeah, fantastic. Next up, I think we have Chrissy from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the beginning. Uh, again, another resourceful, uh, tactful, serious, knows what she wants, character, no bullshit, a little bit damsel and distressy, kind of whiny, but she ends up getting the job done. She's not as kick-ass or as feisty as Aaron's character from the previous movie, but she's a pretty good final girl nonetheless. She's one of my favorites from the franchise. Again, not a stretch, not an Aaron, but a pretty damn final girl in and of herself. And again, she, uh, until the end that is, she managed to uh, get the drop on Leatherface. So with that said, uh, Chrissy has to go in pretty damn awesome, which is not bad at all. And next up, we have Alexandra Daddario from Texas Chainsaw 3D, who plays Heather. She's more of the uh, the final girl. She's the final girl, but we also, she's the most, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? The, the phrase I'm looking for here. We really want to root for her. Uh, we kind of sympathize with her character. She's kind of been shit on her whole life. She came from a terrible family. Her adopted parents are scumbags. Uh, and she finds out her cousin is Leatherface and her whole family were serial killers kind of thing. It's just, yeah, it's a big mess for her. But uh, the character herself is cool. Uh, Daddario did a kick-ass job in the role. Um, and there's really nothing to not like about the character. She was feisty when she needed to be, smart when she needed to be, damsel and distressy at times. But then she also showed her psychotic Sawyer side and then kicked some ass when she needed to. I don't know. It's just the, she was cool. She was fun to watch. And I'm really pissed off that we're never going to see more of that character. Um, at least not yet. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going to put Heather with Pretty Damn Awesome. Next up, we have Leatherface 2017 with Lizzie, played by Vanessa Grasse from Leatherface 2017. Um, there's not much really going on in this film as far as the traditional chainsaw sense, but um it's more of a road movie, as you guys probably know, and, and she does a good job at you know, the damsel in distress, but she's also clever enough to try and make her escape. She's trying to talk sense into the characters. You kind of really feel bad for her because she just really gets beat up and she's dragged along on this, on this journey she doesn't want to be on, and she gets her head cut off. Really just wrong place, wrong time kind of thing, but she was good in and of itself. I think I did like her more than I liked Jennifer or Jenny from Next Generation. So with that said, since, since, you know, uh, but not as much as Sally or Michelle. So I'll probably put her in decent along with Jenny, but she's probably over Jenny, if that makes any sense. And last but not least, we have Lila played by Elsie Fisher from the newest 2022 film, simply Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Uh, eh, I mean, the fucking, those, every character in that movie annoys the shit out of me. I, I, just, I do not like it. Maybe I'm just too old and grumpy at this point, but I just can. I was just fucking annoyed by them. Not as annoyed as I thought I was going to be, but pretty annoyed nonetheless. Thankfully, um, her character, Lila, ends up becoming sort of a likable character. Like halfway point, you start, you kind of feel bad for her, like the the school shooting thing, and like her. They just they develop her character more than I thought they were going to, and by the end, you kind of you are rooting for her a little bit. Uh, so with that said, I'll put her in decent along with. Uh, Jenny and Vanessa Grasse. As much as I do not like certain entries, overall I like every entry, every final girl, every Leatherface to some extent. Nobody in this list is meh, not into it, or garbage. So yeah, but with that said, if I was ranking them um, from uh, least to best, let's uh, let's rack them up. At number nine, we'd have Jenny. Number eight, we have Lila. Number seven, we have Lizzie. Number six, we have Michelle. Number five would be Sally Hardesty. Number four would be Chrissy. Number three would be Heather. Number two would be Aaron. And number one would be Stretch. There you have it, my ranking of the final girls of Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Hope you enjoyed it. Mm -hmm.